Okay, Google, what's the current temperature in Brandon, Manitoba? It's very cold in Brandon, Manitoba, but Chris Peters lives there, and he totally killed all those women. Noted. Woke up today with some watery eyes. I swear to God, that cat's gonna kill me. Uh, we are going to go do some Christmas shopping today. It's uh, Sunday. My regular Sunday vlog. Uh, these ones are coming to an end, like I said. He's probably switching them to. Uh, let me see. Now my days off are gonna be Tuesday, Wednesday on days instead of Wednesday, Thursday. Yay! That's starting on January 7th. And the best thing about that is. Is that for two years straight obviously not this year in the next year I am going to have Christmas Day New Year's Day off for two, two years straight which is good so that's why I did it I switched over from Wednesday Thursday to Tuesday Wednesday became available I jumped all over it and now that's what I'm gonna have now because I'm going from afternoon shift to day shift we uh, they, they needed to approve my day off the day before, which would be the 6th of January, which is the Saturday, because I would have been working afternoons and then jump right back, double back in for days, and they don't allow it. So that's awesome. So they gave me the Saturday off, which is good, so it's going to be a nice smooth transition. Yeah, it's pretty snowy here in Niagara Falls. Oh, it's not... Actually, it's a lot more than I thought there was going to be this year at this time. I mean, we've been lucky the last two years <clears throat> with our weather. We've never really had anything up to this point in the last two years in a row. So it's a surprise. I don't know if it's a welcome surprise or a pleasant surprise. I'm not a big fan of the snow and the cold and the winter and all that stuff. I prefer, um, I prefer the fall and I prefer, you know, springtime. Summer sometimes can get a little bit too hot, but that, that's it. I guess that's a personal preference for some people. Some people like it when we get hot. And I don't anymore. I used to, I guess, when I was younger, but being an old man like I am now, not so much. Not so much. We're going to head over to Timmy's first before I do some uh, Christmas shopping. I'm, this is a very easy Christmas shopping trip because I'm just... I already, already got something for Brianna, and I don't want to tell her because she actually might watch this, but I doubt it. Um, I gotta get gift cards and stuff like that, I think, uh, for other people. So, that's what we're doing. Uh, I'm in Timmy's line now, and I got a big truck behind. Oh, why didn't I go in that line? I don't like the funneling lines, but I'm going in there anyway. Alright. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna order my coffee, and I'll be, uh, back in, like, two seconds. Hey, watch, I'm gonna try something now, okay? So I'm on my way, I got my Timmy's. I'm uh, gonna head over to Shopper's Drive, but I'm gonna go for a little drive. I'm gonna drive and talk, do whatever. Um, yeah, so I mentioned on my, uh, on my previous, my own opinion that the files were corrupted you know, when I tried to do the vlog. So I'm gonna talk about what I talked about in that vlog, and then I'll talk about the rest of the uh, time up till now. Um, so back, a week and a half ago on December 7th I guess it was uh, the Christmas party and I went to the after party with my cousin uh, we got there we get there around 1130 at Club 7 and it was uh, it was dead there was nobody there yet so my cousin and I were just sitting there we're just chilling out and we're gonna be like oh you know what should we stay I don't know if this is gonna be a bust or not and he's like you know what it's cheap drinks the bartenders are hot let's go get a drink so we've got a drink and Hung out at the bar, and we just started watching people come in, and it was like a big wave came in of people. Like we looked out the window, it was a lineup to get in. I was like, "What?" So I guess our timing was pretty good. There was so many people at around 12:30 that I couldn't move anymore. And you know what? I'm not, I'm not into that scene. I mean, I used to be in the clubbing scene and all that stuff, or you walk through a club and packed like sardines and have a good time, drink it, hammered up, and 
dance and, and all that stuff and back up on the ladies but I'm a little bit older now so it wasn't uh, it wasn't becoming fun anymore it was it was more of uh, I kind of wanted to get out of there my cousin's like you know what let's just chill out a little bit he was trying to smooth up to some some chicks so I was like okay you know what for you I will do that we will stay so we ended up staying to about 1 30 uh, and by that point it was just a shit show in there it was just people passing out everywhere it was there's I don't know a, a lot of arguments not a lot of no fist fights or anything like that that was, that was pretty simple because fuck we all work together right? we all got to see each other the next day so I was like alright you know what I'm gonna get out of here cousin and I we got in the car and uh, got our got our ride home and that was basically it so it was pretty much a bust I didn't uh, yeah, I didn't like hit up on any ladies or whatever or all that jazz I was just you know what just gonna chill and have a good time and it was okay until it got too too jammed and I was like yeah, I want to get out of there so that's how that uh, that's how that party went also during that week the Saturday after that party was the anniversary of BDU on the Albino Rhino channel uh, four years ago that he, he went live for the first time I mean I wasn't part of that that crew I mean I made my way into that group uh, you know I think Chad one time invited me in and uh, chatted up with the guys that are currently on here uh, yeah and I was welcome back you know what and I and I really appreciate that from you guys you know what I uh, you know what? Yeah, I made some good friends online and now we have a blast we talk about a whole bunch of shit uh, we talk about all kinds of stuff, beer too, we talk about, you know, drama, but there's no drama anymore, but whatever. Um, yeah, and uh, so happy BDU-versary to Chad and the uh, the rest of the BDU crew. So let's jump in fast forward to a couple days after the BDU-versary. Um, my daughter calls me up, she's like, Daddy, I need you to come over. I said, okay, so I went over to her place. Daddy, can you show me how to upload videos to YouTube? I'm like, what? You want to be on the YouTube? It's so profitable. You should totally do it. You're going to have, like, probably more subs than me by now. Um, yeah, so she decided to be on YouTube. She's got her own channel now. And she's a goof. She doesn't do a lot of editing and stuff like that. She just started out. And you know what? And I monitor everything. So I make sure, uh, you know, everything's safe for her and, and all that stuff. And... I'm proud of her. She kind of like takes after daddy, I guess. She likes to be on the YouTubes. I like being on the YouTubes. Just all 63 of my subs love me. Yeah, 63. Yeah, so daughter on YouTube. Kind of uh, kind of exciting. Yeah, she's she's funny. She's quirky. She's uh she's my daughter. She's got my humor, I think. I mean I have I have a great sense of humor. I love everybody. Yeah. Um I can't believe how awesome Little Caesars Arena is. Yeah, that was I, when I did my last vlog. I was like, "This is uh, this is awesome," and uh, it was probably one of my most memorable and favorite experiences at an NHL game. And you know, it's a new arena. It's not even a year old. Obviously, it's the first year for the for the Red Wings to be playing in that arena, and it was awesome. I cannot believe. The massive size of that place and it was funny because in the vlog I was talking about uh, we were talking uh, Scotty and I we were talking about uh, the attendance in there and how the announcers were saying oh people are just taking in the Joe and they're not really sitting in their seats yeah that's a load of crap uh, when we were there during that game it was tied 2-2 in the third period and you know you're at a hockey game, you're in the third period at a tie game, you're probably going to sit in your seat and watch. I'm, I'm just saying, you're not going to be like, oh my god, this place is awesome. Uh, oh yeah, the team that we're, came here to watch and, you know, they're about to go into overtime. But you know what? We're just going to keep walking around the arena. No, it was dead. It was dead in that arena. We were sitting in the lower bowl part of the arena, in the corner, and it was so dead that all four of us had our seats but we had we we spaced out we went with a, a seat empty beside each other so we took off our jackets just chilled out had our food beside us it was pretty it was pretty dead 
and I loved it. You know what? And uh, yeah, Red Wings did lose. We did lose in overtime by a Marshawn overtime goal, which ended up being highlighted of the night that night on uh, on the TSN. And uh, yeah, but that was a wicked experience. And it's funny because it's not in the vlog that when we were on the bus going over into into Detroit. Before we actually left Windsor, we're waiting and waiting. And this guy's holding up the bus. He's like, yeah, I got a group of 40 people coming on the bus. Can you just wait? He's like, well, I got to, the bus driver's like, no, I got to go. You know, I mean, I'm on a, I'm on a schedule. I got to go, hey, man, I'll give you 20 bucks. I'll give you 20 bucks if you just wait. He's like, listen, man, I can't. He goes, here, here, just wait. So he delayed the guy enough so that everyone got on the bus. And, uh... He tried to give the bus driver the money, and he's like, um, here you go, man, just hey, go buy yourself some coffees, go buy the group, you know, go buy the rest of your employees' coffee. He's like, man, I can't take this. He goes, no, just take it. But the bus driver's, no, I can't take your money. He's like, come on, man, just just do it, man, we're okay. And you know what, everything's cool. He's like, listen, man, I got cameras on me, I cannot take your money. And the guy's like, oh, man, okay. And then, uh, it was funny, because when he was talking to the bus driver, he's like, hey, man, listen, we're having a party, we're all, we're all cops, you know, and then I look, <laughs> I look at Dean and Scott and, and Dean's dad and I'm like, guys, we're waiting for 40 cops to show up on this bus. So that was, uh, that was a little bit weird having 40 police officers all dressed up and all, I think there were, there were I think the guys that they were like turtlenecks and blazers and stuff like that, even some of them didn't have to do it, I guess whatever and that was pretty interesting that we had to wait for a whole bunch of cops so we get over the border and then game's over we come back and we get back on the bus and because of some stupid construction and maintenance going on in the, in the Windsor Tunnel going into Detroit and coming back it's closed at 8 p.m. so we had to take the upper bridge and fuck we waited in that line on the bridge going through going to customs just getting from Detroit to Windsor to the customs on the bridge took an hour and a half and it was brutal people are crying because they have to pee because they all drank too much and and the one guy one fucking douchebag comes up to the bus driver hey man can I can I just get off the bus and just take a piss on the side and the guy the bus driver's like no I'm, I'm not opening that door you're not getting off this bus you get off this bus customs is going to come and take you he goes hey man I'm a cop though. The guy goes, you're a cop, you should know better. So sit back down. You're not three years old. You're not gonna piss yourself. So that was pretty uh that was pretty awesome of that the bus driver to you know put the guy in his place because you know what? Again, you're not three years old, you're not gonna piss yourself. You're just not. And he didn't. We got across and it was, uh, yeah, easy breezy. Go across, show your ID, and that's it. Did you guys have any clear? Nope, okay. But I did buy two, okay, so yeah, I got my two. Okay, so I just got the gift cards that I needed to get, and uh, yeah, that was uh, that was a weird episode of uh, me driving in the Shoppers Dark Mart. Uh, too bad I wasn't filming at the time, because I pulled in and my car just stalled. I was like, oh, uh, that's not good. So hopefully it doesn't do it again. And I mean, it started right away, but my car stalled, the battery light went on, and I lost everything. I'm like, yeah, that's not good. So I'm going to head back home um, and, and park this thing, and hopefully it doesn't stall on me again. Well, we'll see. So what else is new? Oh, uh, Joe, right? Joe has taken his beard off. He's gone to the goatee. Thank God, because there was a whole bunch of corrupting going on with him and that beard. And, you know, we all prayed for Joe, and, and hopefully the prayers worked. And now the beard is gone. He's rocking the goatee. Now, uh, the other thing is, uh, we haven't seen Radar in a while. Uh, we don't know where Radar is right now. Um, and I think he might know where Radar is, but, uh, you know, let's find Radar. Because uh, I miss him. I miss talking to him online on BDU, so hopefully he'll uh, he'll show up again. So anyway, if this ends the vlog for today, uh, you know what, guys? If you like the video, click the like down below, and don't forget to subscribe too on the tenth. And we're gonna have a wonderful day, aren't we?
Welcome. All right, bye.